are the librarian at the baseboard and public and military library. In case you didn't notice, it's Wacky Wednesday. Yes. Now, I'm sure a few of you are feeling a little bit cranky. So we're going to try and change all that and get all that crankiness away. So, again, I'm here with my studio audience, and we're going to start with our first book to get those cranky feelings out of the way. So, here it is, The Very Cranky Bear. Now, first, I must put on my reading glasses. There, there, much better, much better. Okay, The Very Cranky Bear. Make sure you're not cranky while you're listening to this story by Nick Bland. In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes, and sheep, well, sheep was plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear! <laughs> roar! Went the cranky bear! Roar! 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 He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So in the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere warm to play. Oh no! Wait a minute, said Zebra as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. If I did not have stripes, she said, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers always cheer me up. Let's give that bear a pair. <laughs> no, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. So, Zebra fetched a tin of mud and lined some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches, and sheep, well, sheep got cold. Oh, sheep was getting worried. They'd been eaten up for sure. <gasps> and then from in the cave, there came a very cranky, Arr! Zebra, lion, and moose ran out, and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them. Why is he still cranky? He's got antlers, stripes, and mane. Before we gave him those, lion said, he looked so very plain. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at sheep. All I really want, he said, is a quiet place to sleep. So, sheep fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half of her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. She tiptoed back inside the cave. Um, excuse me, bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Well, thank you very much, said bear. And soon he fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. And that was the story of the very cranky bear. So, I hope that got some of your crankiness out of the way. So, just like the story, please, please get all the crankiness away 
be nice to those around you. And it doesn't have to be a wacky Wednesday. It can be a Monday fun day, a silly Saturday, a freaky Friday. Make any day a day for you. Just make it great and make it count. It doesn't have to be wacky. It just has to be for you. Until then, everyone, no more creakies. Bye.